Tuesday, but uh, well, the other good news that was the bad news, but the good news is that um, Enmo finally says they've been able to secure another venue for the show to start. So, definitely, we're going to see uh, Big Brother come up sometime within a month on our screens. Well, yay, good for them. Okay, away from Big Brother, Shatawale won an award. Yeah, he did win an award. He is now the best African artist of the year 2014 at the Nigerian Entertainment Awards. Yeah, interesting, right? Nigerian do the awards and Shatawale Ghanian wins it. How much more, I mean, how better can you explain the collab between Nigeria and Ghana? Well, that's one of the stories also. And well, there was some rather sad news also during this week. Joan Rivers, uh, the lady famous for fashion police, um, well, she died too bad. Um, I think on Thursday, yeah, she died at the age of 81. Too bad. But, well, may her soul rest in perfect peace. So those were some of the stories that did the headlines this week in the world of entertainment. And, uh, well, my outfit for today was proudly made for me by Latida Fashions and uh, I'd like to say thank you very much Latida for making me look this good tonight. You can contact her on 0204-3366444. Latida Fashions is actually in Achimoto. But let's take a quick break. When we return, we'll tell you also what's happening in town this evening. <laughs> Okay, and our uh, WhatsApp number for you to get interactive with us on the show is 0267-844-024. That's 0267-844-024. That's the number for you to get interactive with us here on the show. But let me tell you what's happening in town or some of the events, because it's not all I'm going to tell you about that's happening in town tonight. At the African Regent Hotel is a maiden concert by this wonderful Afro jazz group. Um, they call them the Afro Maestros. Well, they do play classical music the African way. I, I, I've, I've seen them perform a few times and I really, really loved it. And I'm sure you will love it too. So if you are free or anywhere by the African region area, you could pass through and enjoy their concert. Also, uh, at the Best Western Premier Hotel is the Glitz Fashion Cocktail, which is currently ongoing. Um, well, there's a surprise for you over there as well. Uh, Lydia Force and one of my guests for today uh, actually has a new oh yes her movie's about to come out and well there's glitz is doing something concerning the movie so you might want to pass through and see what's happening with that also tonight at the la palm um, hotel in accra is the fashion icon awards yes uh, they are honoring the legendary kofi ansa as well as mali kofi okuji of mkogh yes they'll be honored tonight as well and um and Noella Wiela is up for an award, I understand. So, well, if you are anywhere close to La Palme, you might want to experience the um, Fashion Icon Awards. There's also the Maiden Edition, actually, that's happening tonight. So, um, I mentioned Lydia Forcing. Well, she'll be with me on the white carpet when we return. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still the white carpet here on Joy News on Multi TV, probably brought to you by Airtel. Well, today I have with me in the studio a very fine actress who's been missing on our screen for some time now. I say missing because I don't remember the last time I. Okay, wait, the last time was when she and Desmond Elliot. I nearly said the other way, the other way I've been mentioning his name. Desmond Elliot, who went up to something in Liberia. I think that was the last time I saw her. So today, She's joining me in the studio. Uh, we'll hang out for a while. Maybe today we'll not talk more about her because she has something uh, she's coming up with. You know, a lot of our actors are nowadays taking up some backstage or back behind the scenes roles. I really don't know why they're doing that. Maybe she'll help us understand a lot more what's happening, why she's doing that. And if we have some extra time, we'll find out where she's been hiding all this while. And then maybe she'll come back on the white carpet and then we can talk about the Safakaye case she spoke about some time back. Oh yeah, I'm giving it out. Okay, yes, it's Lydia Forsing hanging out with us tonight. Hello, Lydia. Yeah, I, don't, I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> 
You seem to have a tap on, on my life. So I'm, oh, really? I don't trust you. Mm. <laughs> I thought you did. <laughs> no. I, I, I trust you up until 30 seconds ago. Ah, so which one spot it? The Super Kai? Yes. <laughs> No, but you know, DJ Black has been playing it for a very long time. I know, time. they should pay me for that. <laughs> yeah. They should. I, and I was like, I was the last person to even hear about it. But you say, oh, so you kissed Kwame Mr. Fucker. I was like, yeah. Daddy, what are they talking about? But you kissed him. Yeah, but I didn't even remember the interview. Oh, so okay. I heard it myself. I was like, oh, wow, that sounds like my voice. <laughs> But it was so good, so fun. So make, what made it the most memorable one for you? It was not the most memorable. Like, it was an interview. Uh -huh. And Black had asked me which What's was your favorite my, my best kiss. kiss. Yes. And you see, stupidly me, I took a calculated decision. I was like, okay, any other person I mentioned would be uh -huh. controversial. So, so. Kwame Safaka is a gentleman, you know, he doesn't have any negative publicity so let me mention his name oh, oh my goodness <laughs> it turned out mentioning a good guy's name was even worse than mentioning a bad guy's name because suddenly everybody got excited yeah that was it oh it was interesting i was nervous mm. very very nervous um playing the role with him yeah because Why? I mean, you've grown up watching someone and you can only dream that someday you work with the person so when it actually happens it's you're asking yourself, are you good enough? Can you match up? You know, mm. but you have. I had to mask it with some, you know, bravado or something. Yeah. But, but he's a great person to work with. He made it. He would just every time you step on set, we would just start laughing. You know, mm. have a ball. So, okay. Yeah. So then, okay. I also want to work with you someday soon, except that you didn't get me on your new project. Oh, hey, this is my 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 project. <laughs> No way, I promise you the next one I'm going to get you on it. Hey, okay. So she said it here on the white carpet, too. We'll mark it uh, down. The, my sweethearts were a lot. So uh, see, next time I have to make it bigger, get more money. Yeah. And then, you know, involve more of my, my sweethearts. Even as we say, if it's just a waka pass rule, crap. Oh. We'll take it. But just that me, I won't do waka pass, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so all my sweethearts don't want waka pass. No. Hey. I'll take to. that into consideration. Yeah. So that and when you're doing that one, we'll take you and put you behind the scene completely. So that we can get space. <laughs> we'll get space for you. Exactly. It's all it's your it's your it's your show. Okay. I like the way you think. Good. Okay, so now let's talk about your project. Um a letter from Adam. Yes, a letter from Adam. Why I'm wondering why the title? Because Adam has been dead how many years ago <laughs> since creation? You know, the funny thing about how you know God works is I really didn't think that far mm. when I was giving it a title. It's just, I, I still have it there in my, you know, file where I just written about 10 titles and it just came up. I was like, what's this movie about? What I'm saying is about a letter from Adam. Mm. So I just kept on saying, I didn't even voice it out until it was. Okay. But maybe just God knew that it would be a very catchy, you know, name. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So you did a screenplay yourself. Yes. You produced it. Yes. You acted in it. Yes, I'm very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> what better way to, to, to cut down costs and to, you know, hire myself? <laughs> I know. I mean, you know, when you're an artist and, you know, you have a vision for a story, you, mm. you can't help it. You, you want to be part of every creative, you know, process. And I was very lucky to work with a, an amazing group of people. My my crew members, oh goodness, they should be shooting me by now. But Why? they were no. It's just I can I wanted things a certain way. Of course, the conditions and stuff we were working. Two artists, and they were prepared to you know put their best foot forward. Mm. My cast were amazing. It was just. For me, I like to call it like a student project where everybody okay. comes on board and we all want to, you know, do our best mm. for the for a good movie. Okay, but you were not a film student. No. So <laughs> how come? When did writing and no, producing all come in? You know, I did a uh, course in university creative writing. Okay. So I've always, you know, been a writer. I'd written, you know, screenplays for people behind the scenes. I'd. I was a script supervisor, even at Sparrow. Hmm. So I'd done a lot, but you know, you don't just, you, you know, there's bedroom writing, it's like bedroom singing. And then there's, <laughs> you know, you come out and okay, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to rush it. I wrote this screenplay in 2010. Wow, Yeah. four and, years ago. Yeah, 
and it was just you know i did not you know usually when you're writing a screenplay you have to do a treatment i did not do a treatment you know a series of events happened in my life and i just opened up my laptop one day and i started writing i didn't even know how the story was going to end i just kept on writing and by the time i finished i had a complete movie mm. so um it's always been a part of it. it's just that it's new to people who don't know me but people okay. who who've been around me know that you know I'm, I'm i'm a writer as well so you're writing it in the screenplay format when you yeah, started yeah it's straight like that straight because you know when i was in you know, a professor one of taught me in school and mm -hmm. may he so rest in peace but you know in class we had people who were good at you know prose people were good at poems exactly but every time they'll give us an assignment mine was dialogue mm -hmm. i was use one page for dialogue before i go into and so he kept on was saying that you know you're good at you know dialogue dialogue mm -hmm. but I just, you know, people say you're good at something, but you're never even bored enough. Yeah. You start writing your corner, and it took a lot for me to even let people read this, mm -hmm. this, this script. So I remember my lead actor, Wale Ojo, I sent him the script. I did not tell him I wrote it. Okay. Everybody I sent the script to, I didn't tell them. So he was like, oh, I love the story. Who wrote it? And I said, oh, it's me. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> you're lying. So I'll lead you now. When did you start writing? <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's just it. Mm. But this is not your first attempt at production. You co-produced Masquerades. I think, yeah, I, I was. I wouldn't even say co-produced. I'd probably say maybe associates because okay. um, um, someone else did. Again, I was not bold enough. You know, I I would do everything else except take the title because I just felt that the title producer was such a big word. Even on set, when people would say Madam Producer, I said, please don't call me that because <laughs> it just meant money 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 yeah, money money yeah. and decisions decisions but um yeah but this was the first you know time i was like you know what and i was not prepared to even produce this year it was it's just a series of my life is always a series of unplanned events which become something and maybe that's how god works mm. when it comes to me yeah so how easy was it seeing that now you've decided okay i want to take it up finally mm. you are you played a lead right uh, yeah, lead. So lead you're a lead artist. female in it, you're <laughs> producing it, you've written the script, all oh, this wahala going around. Yeah. But you didn't direct? No, no, okay. no. Who, who did the director? I had a wonderful director, her name is Sam Kessie. She's, uh, she's Ghanaian, but you know, based in Atlanta. Okay. So she came down to direct the movie and it was, it was really good. Okay. Yeah. So on set, how are you feeling? It was crazy. It was, but it was fun too because you know people would come on sets and they expected me. I think my experience working on other sets and you know being an actor myself, mm. um, my my cast loved working with me because I am an actor, so I could put myself in there. For the director, that you know, can you clear the room so these people have some privacy and then relax? Um, but it was crazy because the, I remember there's a. I, I was we shot a lot in you know a house um, it was supposed to be my apartment and mm. all through us I was always in the pajamas okay so I okay. loved scenes like that because it meant I didn't have to do makeup I didn't have to stress about that and I was always holding the script so I'm either canceling something someone's coming to you okay the food is not here yet so there were days when literally people would be talking to you I was saying mm-hmm <laughs> I will not be hearing anything. anything. <laughs> but no, hats off to all, you know, producers, especially female producers out mm. there. It's not easy at mm. all. Mm. So does it mean Lydia is now ready to face her fear or her phobia for taking up the big producer title? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not, I don't think my fear is um, for the for producing, I just don't like the word. You know, I don't like titles like who oh, are giving uh, the credits. You know, everything they are forcing me. So I kept on changing. Oh, so you can names. put my name there. So, yeah, maybe I should put your <laughs> name there. I'm like, well, I'll just take <laughs> forcing or something. Yeah. But I think you know, you're if you're an artist in every sense of the word, you believe in stories mm. uh, and yeah, you believe in telling certain stories, and you don't always get the opportunity as an actor. So I wouldn't say it's something okay. I'm going to do all the time. But if there's a story that you know calls out to me i there are certain stories i want people to 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 hear about and the only way i, I know how to make people listen is through you know film mm. so is this based on a true story no <coughs> contrary to what people say it's not it's just um maybe the feelings okay. i don't know if it will make sense but you sometimes you can listen to music 
and it's in, in another language, mm -hmm. but then the emotions and the, the, it just sound just makes you cry. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not a true story, but I say it's a, a, okay. Let me get it right. It's not a true story, mm -hmm. but it's a true representation of love. Okay. That it really is unexpected. It's not conventional. It's not A B C. Things happen where your life doesn't always go the way you want it to. It's you meet someone, you know, people swear, you know me, I'm going to marry this man. And I'm going to have five kids. And you mm -hmm. wake up one day and you're probably the one that divorces like six, seven <laughs> times. And that's life. You know, yeah. that's making you a bad person. It just means your journey took you on that. So, yeah, for me, it's the truth about love, but it's not based on anybody. Actually, the stories in there are based loosely on either personal experiences or experiences for my friends. Because you know, every real writer you get inspiration from everything around yeah. you. I could be sitting, I'm listening to you right now, be like, I'm writing a script, and I'm like, hmm, I remember this guy. Made me come and sit here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's yeah. Really a true representation of life. Okay. Yeah. I know you'd say we should we should go to the silver beds to get the full story, but you have to give us half of the story or a quarter of the story. <laughs> you see what I don't like <laughs> about, even with trailers, I was in, you know, talking to my editor, I was like, the thing about trailers is, Sometimes they are so good, mm -hmm. you go and see a movie as a disappointment, or they are so yeah. bad in the movies. Actually, I'm not yeah. big on that. But I think, well, okay, let me give you just a little bit. It's okay. just a letter for the Adam. It's just two people who teach each other. It's a, it's, it's a journey. Okay. A, a woman who has never experienced, it's a different kind of love. It's taking you out of your comfort zone. An older man and a younger girl. Most of the time, when a story like that is told, it involves sex or money. Mm -hmm. But then there are real situations out there where someone just comes into your life just to make you live again or to teach you something about life that you didn't even know through love. So basically, that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't get mushy, 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 mushy. <laughs> but there are some funny elements in there too. Okay. Okay, now, Shoko will blow everybody away with her performance and Akofa. A journey. Let me tell you, that woman is a class. How did you get a comfort back? One evening of calling and shaking in my boots, okay, my heels, and saying, <laughs> um, what's your comfort, please? There's a movie I want you to do. And she was like, oh, really? Oh, Lydia, let me see there. Okay, fine, I'll do it. I was shocked. Because, you know, you've heard so much about this person. You're thinking mm -hmm. she's this. And she would come on say, see, you can never put a, a price on professionalism. Mm -hmm. She would always show up when she has to. As an actor, she would. She came up with ideas for the, the character mm. that even I had not thought about. And there were days when I would act with her, I will get chills. I was like, please don't touch me. You're scaring me <laughs> right now. But she's a pro, mm. and she was really, really, really good. I can't wait for people to see her in it. And how do you get Ojo or so on? Wale, Wale, we've worked together before in Phone Swap. Okay. And um, when I was looking for my Adam, I had gone through a lot of people, a lot of you know big names in Nigeria who, out of respect, I'll mention you know mm -hmm. their names, but like huge names. But I was like, there's just someone right underneath. My, we are just, just so I was looking through uh, pictures which we took at the African International Film Festival, mm. and I just ah, wait, what well, has gray. <laughs> I call Wally. I'm like, Wally, how old are you? He tells me, I'm like, oh my goodness. I didn't know you were this old. Because he looks very good for his yeah. age. I was like, so I'm going to send you a script, read it. And, and you know, that's just, the rest is history. History. Mm. Okay. So you did casting as well? No, Far Away Pictures did casting. <clears throat> that's the production company. Yo. <laughs> I hear. Yeah, yeah, my father is sad. Um, uh, far away. Uh, anyway, see, far away pictures did casting. Okay. Far away pictures did locations. Uh -huh. Lydia just wrote, acted, and produced. Far away pictures produced. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I, I know you are you are attending a glitz um, tonight. Yeah. Are, you are, are you the cover girl or something? No, um, oh. glitz was generous enough to give the cast of a letter from Adam. F. See, I can't reveal everything, and you are gonna kill me, but. <laughs> Yeah, just just something in there for people um, 
um, who want to come see the movie. Okay. And then there's a little surprise for people who come to Glitz to the launch tonight. In fact, everybody should come tonight because we have a little something up our sleeves for them. Mm. A little sneak sneak something. Okay. Well, then we'll be wrapping up shortly, but I can't help but talk about your hair. hair because my, my, even though you've been missing... My lazy hair. Even though you've been missing, anytime I've seen you small or pet on TV, you've locked your hair. Is that your new identity or something? No, it's my lazy identity. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, well, for me, hair is... Um, it's, it's, it, my hair is it's how I'm feeling. Okay. How I'm feeling. How I'm feeling, a lot reflects on on my hair because the hair is like part of you is your skin is mm -hmm. and so I'm passionate about my hair but then I'm not overly opaque power to the people everybody yeah. should dread their hair no sometimes I'm just feeling lazy like you know let me just put something on my hair and okay. go plus I'm liking the new you know long hair don't care <laughs> you know everybody has Brazilian now so we 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 the Rasta girls to have to you know flip flip yeah. flip <laughs> flip your ebony locks yeah uh, yeah ebony locks <laughs> So you're going to go natural for some time? No, I've always, huh? I'm, I'm, I don't think I'll ever perm my hair. Never. Okay. Well, maybe if I get like a twenty million dollar, I'm not. Uh -huh. that, I'm not a hypocrite. <laughs> like the, I'm not a hypocrite. If it's a twenty million dollar. I pray it doesn't happen. But I'm like, put on that perm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or <laughs> you could buy a weave. Oh yeah, I would just. This is yes, my guy. I'll just buy a weave. Yeah, I should be a consultant. I, I don't think I want to pair my hair. It's just, yeah. oh, it's the process. And okay. Yeah, mm. I'm killing my brain cells. <laughs> That's why I'm smart, you know. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but finally, what does the future look like for Lydia? We all know you as an actor. Now you've told us the other side of you, <clears throat> that you've been a creative writer as well for some time. Mm -hmm. What is it going to be? More acting, more behind the scenes work? Oh man, you know, behind the scenes can get so comfortable because you don't have to deal with the stories and the rumors and people. But you know, sometimes you feel that there are certain things nobody will ever do it right. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, maybe in the future I'll be doing a lot more producing. But producing stories, I believe in. Okay. That I want to be a part of, not necessarily, you know, churning out twenty movies a year. I don't have that energy. <laughs> Clap, clap for people who do, but <laughs> I, we started pre-production last year. We shot this movie in April, and we are still in editing. It's not an easy job. Mm. So I think I'll, I'll do stories that I believe in. Mm. It doesn't have to be. I don't have to prove anything to anybody, no. And you'll be writing as well? Definitely, definitely. After that one, I can't help. I mean, maybe you get a co-writer, but I'm so annoyed. I'm available. Can I apply? You can. Oh, you can apply. I like stories. Okay. Hey, you've applied for a lot of jobs today. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll screen it down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I can't afford all of it. <laughs> That's why we'll look at the budget and we'll screen. <laughs> okay, but our budget is like... <laughs> oh, but, and again, you know, I really have to thank um, Corporate Ghana. They have, you know, been amazing. Airtel, you know... Oh, the Airtel, Printex, you know, Body Talk, Irata, who I get everybody with, Creo Concepts, um, Club Shandy, uh, oh, the list is endless. They have just, you know, really, 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 you know, been on board and we are we are grateful. And I'll give you the invoice after that, apart from Airtel, because they sponsor the White House. Airtel, carpet. feel free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll be hanging out with Lydia Forsing. She has a new movie, A Letter from Adam, premiering on uh, 19th. 19th September. Yo, know, and again, uh, 19th September is at the Silver Bear Cinema. And then on the Saturday, we are all moving to Silver Bear Wager. Mm -hmm. And then on the Monday, which is a holiday, that I'm not going to tell everybody what it is, but just come to the cinema. It's going to be a lot of fun. Which of them? Wager or? Um, um, Accra Mall, sorry. Okay. So just come. It's just going to be a lot of activities. But you didn't shoot in 3D. Why are you going to Wager? Wager is for because 3D. Because we are just like that. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So <laughs> 19th, 20th, 21st, she's premiering a letter from Adam. Three days. She says she wants to party. She loves to party. So let's join her and let's party. And we'll watch a letter from Adam. Lydia, it's been yeah. great hanging out with you. It's been great. Thank Hopefully you so we'll much. have you come back some other time soon. Definitely. And then we'll talk about... Um, other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Including the case we didn't finish talking about. Hey, okay. We'll talk about <laughs> that as well. Okay, so stay with us. The white carpet continues right after this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Welcome back. This is still the White Carpet here on Joy News on Multi TV, proudly brought to you by Airtel. And of course, Airtel says it's time for you to make your change, the change you want to see in your community. And of course, don't forget they're giving the opportunity to browse chow, which I say I've been doing for some time now. Trust me, I just bundle and that's it for a whole week. I don't care whether uh, I don't really worry about trying to top up or anything of that sort. Um, today. We're, well, we're just talking about a few, not too many issues to talk about today. We've just narrowed it down to like just three. But I'd like to start with the man who has decided to support Ghana in a different color. <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually when Ghana is playing, we all wear red, gold, green. Today, he's very what? <laughs> okay, Uncle Francis, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nina. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how are you doing? <laughs> But I thought the Ghana color was red, yellow, and green, not well, there's, blue. Well, there's yellow in here somewhere. Uh -huh. This looks like, like red. red. We'll take it's it it's like actually, uh, what do they call it? It's some color. Some it's some color. Like claret, like claret or something ah. like that. You know, and then and that yeah. one is blue. It's not green. There's no green. Yeah. Yeah. It's not green. Mm. Um, oh, okay, yeah. But oh, you put somebody could be blind and they think it's green. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure when, when the score line changed and it was... You know, when, uh, the squad has first said it was one nil. Then the he, color the color changed, yeah, 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 yeah. to blue, so that people wouldn't notice. Well, we drew. I mean, it's okay. We didn't lose. <laughs> and but it looks like we... a lot of interest wasn't so much yeah, in because mean, of what happened in Brazil. But yeah. um, hopefully, we will qualify out of the group. I mean, but we don't why do we really? always want to do that? We will stop when they will say, "Oh, we'll qualify, we'll we'll qualify. And for some strange reason to we'll we qualify. end up qualifying." <laughs> 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 it's, it's strange. It's like it is, it is, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start off with Big Brother Africa. Oh, you have when, to acknowledge his presence. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh and you Nana Texas. That sound very important. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Because we're That's there, like you stop with <laughs> <laughs> like So <laughs> please, I'm not your co-equal, so oh, let Nana. me acknowledge your, your presence. Oh, stop and in the studio that. with us is Nana Texas, oh, yeah. our yeah. former Rasta no, friend. No, no, you, who, you. who has cut his Rasta? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Because his father said he should cut it. You know, even, oh no, no, even Lydia, Lydia was asking yeah, why, why I cut everybody it. Everybody asking why I cut but it. But still has his uh, Rasta, Rasta, Rasta photo on his Facebook. Yeah, and even his WhatsApp. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Deceiving <wow>. people. <laughs> <laughs> Deceiving people that he's still a Rasta. It's not a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the short time is great to be here. I appreciate being here all the time, you know. Uh, greetings to our our friends and um, uh, family watching. And our neighbors. Uh, and then I meet, I meet a few people in town and they say, hey, you and I'm texting on, on WhatsApp. <laughs> and I mean, this week, for example, I met about three people. Three with, different people? Yeah. Uh, wow. Or the same person asking no, three, three times. Three, <laughs> <laughs> three different people, actually. Unfortunately, I'm very bad with keeping names. So, oh. you know, so yeah. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to all the three. Shout out, shout out. Yeah. You know yourselves, yeah. that's the most important thing. So the shout out is the for, is for you. But, but you told them we are not crazy people. Or you did. No, they know we are not. We know we are not crazy. And they know some of us are not. Oh, what are you, hey. what are you trying to say? Well, what, what's, what's your point? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't said anything. That's not fair, man. I'm perfectly normal. You're perfectly normal. Okay. Yeah. I think you're yeah. normal. But but I you know they say know. out of every five people, there's but usually we are three, so two more. We are three, so two more. We are the cameraman and David. Yeah. <laughs> For David, you see, you realize, no, this man has a problem. Yeah. He's mad. <laughs> So, okay, so let, let's choose our perfect five. Oh, perfect five. Three of us, and Plus then Gladys. Two, and then Gladys. Then Gladys. Gladys. No, Gladys okay. is not here, so Gladys. Okay, so then Becky. 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 That's for you, smart. How do you come up? You only have the name smart. What are you trying to say? Yeah, that's why you say we'll save him. It's Bill. <laughs> that's three points. Save by your name. Save by your name. Oh, no, seriously. You're mad, man. But that's okay. Every creative person has a better name. Yeah. 
madness there. Like somewhere. You know, that's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, so you, we'll, we'll judge later and then we'll find out. <laughs> We'll find out who really is the one who is off. Okay, so let's start oh, off from oh, Big, oh, okay. <laughs> Big Brother. There was bad news, and now there is good news. The house got the studios got bent, but now they say they have a new studio, hmm. uh, or no, a new venue. venue. They won't tell us exactly where, but they say they have a new venue per the statement they issued yesterday. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> a very bad news, hmm. you know, uh, that came in on to Tuesday. Start with. Yes. yes. I mean, imagine you have planned something for oh, almost gosh. a year. Mm -hmm. Just how many days? Four or five days to it. Yeah. Then the whole Disaster. place gets straight. And then it no throws your plan totally off gear. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think I, I, I really sympathize with the producers and organizers of Big Brother, you know, yeah. because they put a lot of uh, resources into it. Also, you also have to, to think about sponsors, mm -hmm. you know, people whose money was put into that, you know, and all that, and they were going to get exposure for, for their money, and then suddenly this happens. But uh, I think that the people down south have some, some level of expertise, you know, in some of these things. And so they, 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 they gave the assurance in a statement, earlier statements mm -hmm. that they were looking at different venues, yeah, both, both in South Africa and, and outside yeah. of South Africa, and they were very certain that they would get a place too. So the question was, would they find a place mm -hmm. conducive enough for this? And then yesterday we had a statement that they found a place. Yes, as you said, we don't know exactly which country or which, mm. which city or where it will happen. Mm. But they said that in the course of the month or within, within a month, month, they are very certain that we'll have Big Brother back. I think it's good news that mm. or, or like some silver lining you yeah, know, or, cloud. or a cloud and um, hopefully it will come on and then we'll see how this big brother goes. Also of course we were disappointed in the whole process of mm -hmm. choosing who represents Ghana. Yeah. Eventually Chari. Eventually Sierra Leone. Sierra <laughs> okay, should I pronounce the last country? Just Sierra Leone and the other one. <laughs> should I pronounce the last one? Yes. Lu Luanda. <laughs> Sierra Leone and Rwanda <laughs> couldn't make it because they didn't get, as per their um, criteria, they didn't mm. get, you know, people good enough oh, to okay. choose in South Africa. Because they couldn't also make it there, just oh, like Ghana. Okay. Because you know, the, so. the official student said just about scheduling and something, something problem. So yeah, those two yeah. and I think the problem with Rwanda is that they have a very difficult, if you like, a lot more difficult process of getting a visa to oh. USA than we do. I understand they have about ninety days or so. Really, you know, so they who are yeah. even closer. Yes, I said <laughs> oh, you could walk from Rwanda exactly. to <laughs> to USA, so they are not in. But I think all the other twelve, you know, are getting ready to. So. It's good news that I come, and I hope that mm. um, we get into it. The people who love Big Brother and yeah. would like to continue to watch. So, oh. indeed, indeed. Um, and you know, Uncle Francis is a Big Brother expert. When he yeah. tells you this, and for him to have threatened that he will strip naked if a in certain Malaysia. lady had gone, and which I am still praying that she would have gone to South Africa to audition, for that would have been chosen. And, and and you, don't <laughs> like, you don't like me. Eh? <laughs> You've been seeing that threat one too many times. It's about time. Somebody, <laughs> you know, just for shaggy yeah. reasons, they should just sponsor that exactly. lady to Big Brother for me, you oh. know, to call off his bluff. Exactly. No, no, you didn't, didn't say boxes. <coughs> See the way you said it together. You didn't say boxes. You said you would strip me. You know what I mean? The only problem is, I wish he was a chick, then I'll be happy. Yeah. As a guy, I'll say, all right, okay, <laughs> enough, enough, yeah. enough, you know. But. Can you imagine if it was a Jocelyn Dumas? Sorry, ah, what was her name? Jocelyn Dumas. Dumas. Oh, Dumas. Dumas. Must yeah. be French. Right. You <laughs> love it if she does. Yeah, she would. That would be nice if she has. <laughs> That's why she didn't. She, did she didn't make a threat. Yeah. Why, why, do, why do the wrong people make threats? <laughs> like, like somebody's threatening, I'll beat you. You look at the guys like this. Yeah, no, look at you, like man. That. Like Please. me, who wanted to cross a fight on, on Thursday. And the person was taller than me and bigger than me. I'm tall, but he was well, slightly he was taller, taller than me. He was and big. solid. Yeah. He must be like Chris Bosch. <laughs> oh. And, and I see him and he takes one step and then I start tracking. But I say, uh, hey, Charlie, okay. but you, you are lacking in the office. So you like, know what I mean? <laughs> like his shoes would be bloody yeah. right now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wrong people are threatening all the time. I'm like, why don't I have, excuse me, better people threatening <laughs> than this uh, man? Cool. You know what I mean? 
too if you want. Oh, me? <laughs> no, 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 it's just, no, man. Yeah, not yeah, my so time. time. You know, yeah, not my yeah. time. So at least he knows what he stands on most of the time before mm -hmm. he makes his statements. And I respect him for that, you know. A very important person in our society was telling me something about him that he is his eyes, sorry, eyes and ears in entertainment. And that's, mm -hmm. that was really solid. Yeah. You know, that tells you Charlie Devon knows his stuff. You know, and it's always cool hearing what he has to say because you know it's factual. Yeah. So he came to tell us this and this and this. And today he's come up with something, you know, totally interesting as well. Statements and all that. Mm. Me, I'm excited. Uh, plus, I'm looking forward to seeing or uh, getting to know which, you know, location they're going to use. Yeah. I don't know if it's still going to be in South Africa, you probably. know, probably. I wish they had brought it down to West. I know that's, that's like wishful thinking, mm. you know, because of this Ebola. Thing yeah. and all that, but otherwise, we had good I mean, locations sorry, here. Catch, but I think that was there. Mm. The one place that they would have found very good, cool, Nigeria. Uh, yeah, it's Nigeria. Yeah. Nigeria. Nigeria has a lot of studios lots that of could do those studios. things. We in, don't have one of those here. That's yeah. true, and not to, not to mention Nigeria have had their own big brother before, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. big yes. brother Nigeria, yeah. sure. Yeah. So it won't be new, yeah. you know, perhaps we would have a few issues yeah. here and there, uh, uh, but we well, have great locations. We have a big brother, yeah. I'm in love with Bumaye. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> hey, we are sitting on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the big man say, Oh, well, I don't see. Oh, we only mentioned. Doku. We only we shouldn't mention. About we're insinuating. It was our. Oh, no, no, no. It was it insinuating. Was, it, was, it was our reality. You show. mentioned the name, but you did there with, with tongue in cheek. Oh, I mean, no, 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 we didn't. No, we didn't. Did we? No, no, we didn't. We only mentioned. It wasn't yeah. a big brother thing. It was more like a bachelor bachelorette kind of thing. Yeah, that person still. was in big brother. Yeah. Oh, okay, shall we move on? <laughs> yes, let's move on. You people, you are trying to corner me. It's not fair, you know. Uh, but, of course, um, you know, Ghana, we always find a way, you mm -hmm. know. So, assuming yeah. um, they brought it down here, trust me, we could I'm have sure, done something, yeah. you know. There are a few locations in town. We yeah. have Russia here. We have Flamingo. <laughs> we have uh, my own place. Yeah. We have Israel. <laughs> we have Mensa Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> we have Abu Afu. Oh, it's not like that. We have some names, man. We have Akutuku Academy. You know, my own area, we have a data commando. You know, so definitely we may find a place to do this thing, you okay. know. So why not? But I, I'm sure these are business people. And I think, of course, we shouldn't worry too much about material loss because they have insured mm -hmm. the place by all means. Uh, perhaps the only issues will be people who have already booked accommodation. Because mm -hmm. remember, they normally sometimes bring in these superstars to do yeah. the opening acts and all exactly. that. You may have prior notified them. They have to get their calendar schedules mm -hmm. and all that. And all these things have to be cancelled. Exactly. But such is life. I yeah. mean, look. It's unpredictable. Of course. You That's know. The bottom line. Yeah. Some people have sex all the time. Babies don't come. Yeah. Somebody goes, tries once, and, and then. He's not even ready. Yeah. Then the baby starts the baby crying. Starts crying. <laughs> That's <laughs> life, man. Life is a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. And then, um, Nana's favorite man, Shatawale. I'm he not a gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nana's favorite artist, Shatawale. I'm not a gay. Whatever. You Shut up. Like exactly. Like no, it. favorite. Favorite is a strong word. No, okay, now let's. No, but favorite is favorite. If you are saying Lydia Forsen, for obvious reasons, she'd be my favorite. No, but favorite, favorite is favorite. Favorite is favorite. Am you I like know, his music. I know your favorite uncle. Uncle is relative. <laughs> <laughs> Behave. <laughs> so, favorite is favorite. <laughs> Do your thing. So, so back to my <laughs> Mata, to yeah. open and close. Nana's favorite artist. Okay, yeah. whatever makes you tickle yourself and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so Nana's favorite artist, Shatawale, was in yeah. the news. Uh, he was supposed to, he's now Africa's best, okay, well, according to Nigerian Entertainment Awards, he's Africa's best artist. Yeah. Should we sing and dance already? That It's a Nigerian thing, but a Ghanaian emerged overall best artist. <sighs> well, I mean, um, it, we should be happy. He's Iranian, he, locally, he's also yeah, Iranian. Sure. Um, so yeah. if he goes out there and, and, and is able to um, hold his own against, you know, other people. I, I, to be honest, I didn't follow that very well to know mm -hmm. the other people who were nominated in, in that category, yeah. you know, in which he won. But I mean, even whom, whoever he, 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 he contested mm -hmm. with, 
Uh, at the end of the day, he, he, is, he is. I mean, mm. and I think we need to commend him because, I mean, like I, I keep saying, even before the Ghana Music Awards, that over the last one year, for me, one artist, or over the last one and a half years, I mean, mm -hmm. one and a half to uh, something, up to the, to the GMS, one artist who has, or, or two people, he and Sarkozy, in my view, mm -hmm. you know, stood up very strongly. And he was, for a long time, you know, the most popular yeah. person at any event that you went to. True. You know, and people were clamoring to, to see him perform. Every I mean, you've been to every show, music. and then even, even if he's not on a bill, people keep shouting, keep Wally, chanting. Wally, Wally, yeah. you know, and all that. So it means that he has a very strong uh, fan base. Mm -hmm. And um, to be able to, to transcend, you know, the borders to other countries, to be able to win that, I think it needs to be commended. He really has done well. If it's anybody else, we'll commend him. Of so course, if it's yeah. Shatawali, I mean, why not? I think um, he's done well, and, 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 and kudos to him for picking that award. I also, I mean, it has to be said that he's been nominated for the uh, Channel O uh, Music Video Awards. It's a serious uh, content yeah, as well. As well and and you know. there's one also coming up in October. I really can't remember the event, the name of the event, but he's been nominated for that as one. Well. As well, OK, yeah. you know. So it means that he's done well for himself over mm -hmm. the period. And I mean, he needs to be commended, and, and, and so I commend him. So is it um, for Ghana, is it, okay, let me put it this way. Does it also say that um, dance hall, Ghanaian dance hall in that, in that sense, is also gaining that much popularity? You are the dance hall expert. <laughs> yes, of course. What an yeah. honor. <laughs> oh, should I say what an honor? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Um, you know, dance, dance hall, as the name of it suggests, is um, it's danceable stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you push it a bit further into the, um, forgive me, I have a cold, so my sure. talking is quite funny today. Don't don't switch off your TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same sense. old me. Um, <clears throat> it's 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 a danceable thing, very mm -hmm. infectious. So no matter who you are, whether you like it or not, when they play it, you kind of groove to it. Mm. Before you pay attention to the lyrics and realize, oh, what the hell am I dancing exactly. to? Exactly. You know? Because all the lyrics are quite annoying, risky, yeah. and not really suitable for children and mm. all that. But it's kind of fun. And, um, excuse me. Mm. Oh, dear. I have a terrible cold for you. Mine is just about <laughs> leaving. Okay, sure. It's on its way out, so maybe it teleported itself. <coughs> Sorry, open back to the matter. Wizardry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, thankfully, they edit it. So, uh, for, for, for him, oh, jeez, what are you doing? No one. <laughs> <laughs> you make you make a fool of myself on the national television. <laughs> Our boss is <laughs> don't pay you. <laughs> Accounts, don't do that. You know, but um, that aside, mm. like Uncle Francis said, the guy works hard. I mean, let's. Forget about every silly thing he's done, mm. or he purports to do, or claims he's doing, or keeps doing, or keeps <laughs> doing, because he's not going to stop anyway. It's working for him, yeah. getting him. That's what even brought him to the limelight. So he's definitely not going to stop. He um, can't change the spot of the leopard. Yeah, not by any, any not means. Not at all. Maybe by using powers. <laughs> no, not even if you burn it, you still see <laughs> some traces there. You know, so. Plus, it, it works for him. Mm -hmm. He thrives on controversy. There are lots of artists who are like that. Some have their good boy, good girl, clean image. Yeah. works for them. Some thrive on bad boy. If it works for them, they continue doing that, mm -hmm. you know. And of course, it's working for him. And he actually goes further to support it by even working extra harder. Look at this guy coming up almost every day with a track. Who does that? Me. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you read the news every day. That's fine. <laughs> you know, and you can't help but to notice it, you know. Mm. So if that actually is getting him attention, even transcending, I think transcend is a word, mm. beyond the borders of our shores, why not? And these people have noticed, and for you to break through into Nigeria, that's a yeah, huge deal. they have their own super people already. Of course. And you go and win the topmost award. That's worth it. You remember 4X4 collaborating with Davido? Yeah. And people accusing them of making Davido uh, feature too much on too the song. Yeah. What was their response? We want to break through the market. But this guy has broken through anyway without any collaborations yeah. whatsoever. That is a big deal. Well, he has one with Davido. <clears throat> That's great. That's great, you know. But whichever way you look at it, I think we should be proud of him flying the red, gold, green. 
all our idiosyncrasies and everything we have against him, whatever it is. I mean, we can bury that. Families are fighting. Yeah. You know, the three of us, I mean, we just had a fight. You were teasing me, pushing me in the corner and all that. Oh, did he even that? He, yeah, he's even laughing at my small handicap today of my cold and kata, you know. Oh, no, this, man, don't do that. It's not fair. This is the guy, when you are down, he'll punch you and let you it's press it's you. And there you go. But I think Sh Shatter aside, um, he's not the only one that I think, uh, what's Dinah Hamilton? I okay. understand also emerged the best artist at the African Gospel Awards, which wow. is in the UK. And which um, Adum FM's um, Kwame Aidan was also given the best DJ. Over and, there. Yeah, for his okay. Adum Live worship. So wow. it looks like gradually our artists are breaking, breaking through. through. Yeah. Well, I think we've been doing it for a while. Um, mm. We won the mobile. Yeah. Samini, um, Fizo DG. Won BET. You know, we won BET, Sarkodie. Mm. You know, and all that. We, we've been going, you know, so we won Cora, you know, yeah. back in the day. Sure. Yeah. You know, and all that. Sure. So yeah. um, we could do better, but I think the little little uh, victories need to be celebrated, and, mm. and we celebrate all of them. We'll, we'll pick up something. Mm. That's very true. Before Afrimark is also coming. Exactly. You know, to bring Next more month. of those, you know, um, a recognition to some of these people. Remember, Ghanaians are very hard working. Yeah. You know, it's quite surprising <laughs> when um, you're even outside of the country, right? people respect us more than we do respect yeah, ourselves. Yeah. Do. You know, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Because over here, we just we eat each other. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the women. I like to eat only women. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember uh, my colleague is <laughs> Actually, uh, Jojo Kovna telling me about when he was in South Africa and, and he was there with Wanda and Co. How even the clubs used to play lots of Ghanaian music. And when they are playing, everybody jumps to the dance floor. True. So, really, our, our artists are, are doing, doing well. well. Yeah, true, true. Doing we could well. do better. But mm -hmm. Oh, sure. More Definitely. room. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So, we'll be wrapping up shortly, but let's talk about um, the lady who died, Joan Rivers. The fashion police. Some people, I, I saw on f uh, social media that now that she's dead, bad fashion will have a, a field day <laughs> because uh, the police is gone. Well, I mean, bad fashion still had a field day even with the police around. You know, so you can imagine what will happen. Oh my God! You know, it's just a uh, free for all. Oh, we will food fight. Yeah. You know, what, well, whatever, anything you exactly. want. I mean, even if you want to wear that Amber Rose <laughs> yeah. in the morning, you know, Amber Rose, like <laughs> silly clothing and uh, mm -hmm. Rihanna's yeah. uh, yeah. tactics, you know, Lady Gaga's fish and eggshells yeah. and all yeah. that. I mean, I think John was, um, she was a colossus, you know, in the area right. of comedy. Mm -hmm. I think she broke the glass ceiling, you know, for, for female comedians but to be that's noticed. Strange. That's what also. a lot of people didn't know about her. No, people they didn't know she was a she know her fashion police. My fashion police is just recent. recent yeah. yeah. It's it's fine now. I mean it's in that towards yes. the yeah. last decade or so exactly. that, that fashion police came into into uh, and that was after Joan was after seventy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, she's mm -hmm. like 80, but you wouldn't know because know. she's done a lot of uh, plastic it. surgery. <laughs> I mean, she joked that the number of pl plastic surgery she's done, she thought even God won't, won't uh, <laughs> recognize her if she died and went to heaven. <laughs> you know, because. <laughs> you like, hello, who are you? <laughs> you know, she so went to her name, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but, the point, but the point is that she, she had her craft. Yeah which is to be as mean as possible. I mean, mm -hmm. people didn't understand her. They thought that she was, right. she was too yeah. mean. Um, she never saw any good in, in, in people. Yeah. So, but, but that was how Joan was, and mm -hmm. that was what, how she was recognized. These ladies and make $28 million dollars um, over the years. Mm -hmm. So I think it's sad that eventually, sad because a human being is dead, but True. it's also, go to celebrate her life because mm -hmm. she lived very long and did all that she could do and, and, enjoyed, and, and herself. enjoyed herself. Yeah. John died at 81. 81. That's, that's, that's a very prime you know, age. She'll be missed, really. Mm -hmm. She'll really be missed by the people who, who watch E! and, mm -hmm. and fashion police you yeah. know, and all that and, and follow her comedy career. Among other things, she does a lot of things as well. She's also she done some um, writings for stage. Yeah, and a whole lot. Yeah. You know, she, I think she was a colossal figure in the, mm. in, in entertainment, the entertainment circles, circles yeah. and she will leave a big vacuum, mm. I think. Mm. 
I think the world has lost a great one, you know, and not many people live to 80 and still look the way she looked. Yeah. You know, plastic surgeries aside, you could tell she had energy. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite encounters with her was on um, The Apprentice by mm -hmm. Donald Trump. I, I gave him the CD, he didn't okay. watch it. And <laughs> I watched a lot. I didn't watch all. Okay, yeah, okay. I was. So okay. he watched some. So, so yeah. he mm -hmm. wasted the CD. Yeah. <laughs> You know how it is there when you waste a three pack CD. Oops. Nana. Yes, yes. Okay. As I was saying. Yes. No, the CD had three packs. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Yes, that's what we're saying. We're in a studio. We're in a studio. That's how we, we say go on. No, I didn't want you to misunderstand me. I wanted you to no get problem. it. No problem. We understood. Yeah, we understood. Okay, we time. did not misunderstand you. We understood. Okay. Time is Why going. Why do you think we are yeah. blocked? I, I wonder. No, you are called smart. Uh -huh. You are called Dawn. How uh -huh. can you be blocked? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a, a lot of um, <clears throat> people didn't know this also um, about her. She'd been through a lot in life. Mm -hmm. Her husband committed suicide. She had only one husband, second husband. You know. and, and she actually wrote, she added it to her stand up act at some point. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's, what's my point? This is somebody who made light of everything tragic that came her way. How many of us really? you know, can go through that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go through some of these things and they just kill themselves. Yeah. But her life story, I think, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an affirmation to the fact that, look, you still, as a human being, have the strength. You can go through a lot of pain and all that. And guess what? She actually died doing surgery. Again, throat <laughs> yeah. surgery. Throat surgery, yeah. This time not plastic. This time not plastic. <laughs> so the time she did the real thing, she died. When yeah. she did all those nonsense, she, she didn't die. You know. I, I, I respect her. I think we'll miss a great personality. She's mm -hmm. done very well. For the fashion bit, I sometimes disagree with her because, you know, fashion is quite subjective. Yeah. And things that you may consider non-fashionable now, a few years down the line, the same thing, you we'll know, come, come back, back and yeah. then becomes there, fashion. There are times Standards. When you see, there are times when you see I get to Michi you Bellino know, kind of thing. <laughs> you know, or Diamond yeah. Couture. Yeah. You yeah. see, you are like... I mean, it's true. It's fashion is subjective. Because yeah. yeah. if you see KKD, some people say, what's wrong with with you. With and guy? some see when they're like, wow. That's exquisite. Do, yeah. Exactly my point. Like, what's wrong, what's with, wrong yeah. with this guy? Carrying a phone around. You know? You know? That. Yeah. But that's his style. You know? <laughs> like it, yeah. That's his style. That's his style. He may wear purple <laughs> yeah. socks. But with yes. also <laughs> about, shoe. about John is that I mean, she, she, she jokes about herself, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, as much as she jokes, she jokes about other people. So, so there's nothing it, left. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing I mean, left. <laughs> I mean, and, and anybody should go and look for John, John Rivers' roast. Oof. Mm. That yes, was I have an seen amazing that. roast. Yes. Uh, you've seen roast and you've seen roast and John Rivers' yes. roast. Even Donald amazing. Trump's roasting didn't come close. No, 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 no. Yes. no, no. And she took it in her strides. Mm. That's what was yeah. this, you know. That's very, very, yeah. very true. She's a great, great person. And I think um, we are going to miss her. There was one thing I really wanted to touch on quickly, but it looks like it skipped me. So no problem. We can close in the next week when we come. We and you remember, then you talk about <laughs> it. Yes. So yeah. then we can move on. Yes, we can. Move okay. On. <laughs> so, <clears throat> he says he's forgotten. You see, it's not me, you. Yo, we are going to move on. And when he says that uh, next week, uh, we come next week, uh, you don't remember. Please, it's not as that. It's bad, so if I don't remember, it's good. Uh, how are you? you that. He called Kanye West child ugly. <laughs> So when she was dying on the dying bed, we were like, you see, you call people ugly. You see, that's not funny, man. You dying, man. <laughs> Just die. Uh, maybe one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, what Thank a wow. Thank you very, very much. Um, okay, we'll be wrapping up, but uh, let me thank them. I just want us to watch this short clip of uh, Joe Rivers when she was being interviewed on CNN. Mm. And she really got pissed off and walked <laughs> off a live show. And the uncle oh wasn't, she wasn't too sure whether that yeah, joke was yeah. serious or not. So <laughs> let's, let's watch that. I'll come back and read your messages and then we'll wrap up final, final, final. These ladies make $28 million a picture. You really think that uh, 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 Nicki Minaj cares? I didn't like her dress. Uh huh. You know, when mm. you're in that kind of a bracket, you don't really care. Yeah, you're not Someone really worried like about dress. feelings being hurt. Well, not when it's about dresses. It's not about them. It's about clothes. That is one thing she's noted for, speaking what she believes to be the truth. And she actually does that pretty well. And the last thing I saw that was that full and yellow was Hugh Hefner's diaper and the shoes. 
In a tribute to the late comedian who is probably best known as a no-nonsense TV show host, Time magazine quoted the late Rivers as attributing her success to her ability to say what everyone was thinking. Born Joan Alexandra Molinsky in Brooklyn, Joan changed her last name to Rivers, the name of her manager who managed her when she was active as a stand-up comedian. The controversial TV show host will be remembered not only for her outspoken nature, but for her recent walking of a live show on American cable television, CNN. Eating meat. I don't want to hear this nonsense. Come to me with a paper belt and I'll talk to you. <laughs> but you did hear it in some of those press conferences. There were people who were upset and you're just saying, no way. Oh, you know, I'm going. I really am going because all you have done is negative. No. All you have done is negative. I haven't heard negative. I made people laugh for 50 years. I am put on earth to make people laugh. My book is funny. I wear fur that was killed 15 years ago. I work for animal rights. Stop it with, and you do this, and you're mean, and you're that. You are not the one to interview a person who does humor. Sorry. Are we serious? <laughs> Okay, so uh, Joan Rivers there, of course, you can't get it wrong. But as I promised, let me read your messages quickly and then we go because David is already shouting. Uh, just like in your top one, I beg, show me the way I want some. Oh, okay, Foster, um, it's actually provided for me by Latida and her number is 0204-336444. So you can get in touch with her and you can okay yours is not what we are talking about here so let me move on good evening white carpet but smart how can you forget to welcome nana <laughs> is it because francis is in that shit well selassie we were doing nana eh, no we were doing francis's top so it was he also contributed to it um from Ilyasu in tamale smart your marathon interview with lydia kept me wondering if my favorite show with the most interesting pair will ever come off today i'm stuck on my seat to be thrilled by the most entertaining pair from the entertainment industry well i'm sure you saw them okay um hi akufi please ask uncle francis what he ate before coming to the studio uh actuary bar <laughs> anyway is it's always a delight watching you guys on the white carpet okay john i i know what uncle francis ate but he says he said, he said i shouldn't say it so don't worry i'll tell you later maybe later when you in chambers it's good bba have managed to get a new studio shatawale should keep up the good work and uh, nana text and keep okay i think we want him also to keep up the good work you salute him that's from mr benefits in winchi um shout out to okay hi good evening i love this show mr francis and nana are doing a great job may you live long um please my greetings to gladys our baby and uh, what's the name of our baby well her, her name is uh, David, what's her name? Georgette, right? Georgette. If you are out with you, okay, he can't remember. But, okay, uh, we call her Fua White Carpet simply. So, um, sister, that's, that's how we call her. And you say shout out to Shatawale. Okay, I'm sure he's heard it. And David, please, last one. Hi, boss. Tell Lydia she's going too fat. Shatter, do everything. Hi, hostess. Shatter's time. Let him shine. Big ups to. Nana, this is from Fati, and uh, this one you say you want Lydia Forsen's management team for corporate workout. Hey, sir. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much uh, for your messages, and thank you to uh, Lydia Forsen and to Nana Texan, and then also to Francis Doku for passing through on the show. My name is Nia Krofi Smarter, my costume provided by Latida Fashions in Achimota. And of course, catch a repeat of the show on Sunday at 9.30 p.m. here on Joy News on Multi TV, and then at 11 a.m. on Hits TV, also on Multi TV. Or you can log on to youtube.com, just search for the white carpet on joy news and definitely definitely you will find the show to watch uh, my name is nia kofi smatabe we'll see you when we see you good night
shake it.